And welcome back everyone. It's not just the city of Buffalo and Western New York coming together to show support for the victims of Saturday's mass shooting. We also know the city of Rochester is sharing in our grief and anger tonight. We sent our Rob Hackford and photojournalist Ben Reed to Rochester tonight where a vigil just got underway moments ago. Hello, Rob. Yeah, Michael and Mary Ellis, as we learn more about this tragedy, more and more predominantly black communities across New York State, like here in Rochester's 19th Ward, are realizing that what happened in Buffalo could have happened here. Now, that was the message outside the West Avenue Tops, just down the road from this location. NBC has reported that online chat records and archive posts from the app Discord have showed the suspect mentioned carrying out an attack back in December. And over the past five months leading up to Saturday's tragedy on Jefferson Avenue, NBC has also reported those same posts showed the suspect had weighed attacking other targets in cities like Binghamton, Syracuse, and Rochester, but ultimately decided on Buffalo's east side because of the density of black people. But rather than focus on that fear, local leaders picked this location, Enon Missionary Baptist Church, to pray that whatever hatred fueled the white supremacist attack in Buffalo can be extinguished everywhere. For comparison, the pastor told us this church is the true Bethel of Rochester, and as many know, our cities are well connected. It's a close-knit community between Buffalo and Rochester. Our, many of our families have relatives in both cities. Many of us are familiar with the area where the, the murders took place. I've been past that store many times myself in Buffalo. And, but by the grace of God, it could have been any one of us at any time. So we want to share um, this moment of grief, bereavement, recovery with the city of Buffalo to show that we have solidarity with them and that it takes all of us to stand against racism, to stand against violence, uh, to stand against injustices that happen in our state, our communities, and our nations. Names of the 10 victims read several times here, lots of tearful speeches as well, and we'll have more on this coming up at 11. But even as we were walking into the church tonight, we spoke with a woman whose family lived on the east side of Buffalo. And over the past few days, plenty of community groups from Rochester have come out to Buffalo to aid and just be there to support this group and ultimately lead to fighting racism and ending it altogether. In Rochester, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.